Hello and welcome. We start this week with a man who has over 30 years controlled carnage behind him. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Nick Plantico. A company always on the run A destiny Oh, it's the rising sun I was born A shotgun in my hands Behind the gun I'll make my final stand Yeah And that's why they call me Club is a charity that puts film into the hearts and minds of children. Here's a look at a Q&A session some film club members had with stuntman Gary Connery. Today, uh, 
today we have Gary Connery, the stuntman. My name's Gary Connery. I've worked in the TV and film industry for about 17 years. Uh, I came to be in the stunt industry as a result, really, of my background of what I used to do as a kid. And it's really an extension of what I used to do as a kid that brings me to where I am today. So. Uh, from school, I did work experience at a dry ski slope and became uh, a trainee ski instructor at the dry ski slope until I then went away and did ski racing for five years. Um, what, what made you want to be a stuntman? I wasn't great in school. I loved the sport. Um, the academic side of things I actually wasn't very good at. I enjoy the sport side, so it's really an extension of the sports and stuff that I did as a kid. Guideline 17.5, never question a senior agent in the field. No! So then, so that got into cut then with a shot of me falling away from a helicopter. So you then had a long shot. We lost the guy just going off the edge. Then there was a long shot of me falling away from a helicopter to a shot of Rowan Atkinson suspended in a harness with a wind machine against him. So it made it look like then he was in this sort of position flying through the air. Again, cut to this, which again was from a helicopter of the canopy snapping open. So anything that you see where there's a long fall or under canopy generally was me. When you've got a shot of tight on Rowan Atkinson under canopy, that was done in a studio where he was suspended from a crane. Were you scared when you jumped out of the helicopter? Good question. I believe that fear, in answer to your question, is yes. All right. So but I'll elaborate on that. I truly believe that having some fear or paranoia is good because that keeps you safe and it keeps you thinking about what you need to be thinking about. Did you injure yourself any time in that film? No, I didn't. But I have injured myself doing other stuff, but generally it's when I'm not at work. Uh, when your guard's down and you're not really thinking about what you're, you're doing, that's generally when one hurts oneself. But because of us trying to achieve specific things, we work hard on maintaining safety and achieving things in a safe way. When you're not paying attention to what you're doing or you're riding your bike just down a track, you know the score, I'm sure you've got a bike, you fall off sometimes. I would like you to um, show us something that looks quite painful, but actually isn't. Can you see that? I wouldn't advise it, but it's called sugar glass. It's not sugar, it's some sort of resin, but it's non-toxic, all right? You can get it in your eyes, because there are, it is dust, it's small pieces. So I will be closing my eyes when Maraid stumps me with it. As I say, this one, you can get away with doing that, because it feels quite strong. It's a good one, so I don't know where you got it from, but well done. Um, generally, what we do is hold them like that and hit so all you've got to do, however you like, hold it like that, hold it like that, smack me on the head with it. It's entirely up to you, just hit me with it. Now if I do that there, and there's no reaction from Nick, nothing really happens, it's like, oh. What are you doing? What are you playing at? Whereas if Nick reacts and he bends over, timed with what I do, and I actually put more energy into it and spin him round this way, ready? <laughs> it kind of looks like we've hit him. I'm going to be the one that's throwing myself against the wall. What Nick needs to do is make it look like it's him. Okay, so he's actually got to follow my movement. So that's the dance part. Kind of like if I grab hold of Nick here, I can start his movement off, but he's doing the walk around there. I'm not really doing it. I've stayed on, that's very good. Grab hold of me. Right, so what you're gonna do, 
is you're going to give me the initial okay. throw and you're going to follow through like that and shove me as hard okay. as you can. All right, ready? Yeah. Go. Oh. <sighs> All right, so fantastic for Nick. This week's stunt classic comes from season one of Dempsey and Makepeace. Two motorcycle gunmen, Roy Alon and Chris Webb, being chased by Gareth Milne and Elaine Ford. just about it for this week. We look forward to seeing you all again next week for more of the same. Bye-bye for now.